Yeah, it depends on the the one. This one was not willing to. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, not willing to help as much as the help I wanted. Right? We're like losing money. We can't sell it, and we can't get out of it. Like, kind of in this pickle. Um, and yeah. and if we didn't have this other business to support it, like, I mean, it, it would have you know it would have been a lot worse. Um, yeah. And so for them, yeah, I mean, they they ultimately did help. You know, n- help transition it to to somebody else. But um, anyway, I, you know, I, I had, you know, obviously I, I, w- I was looking for a lot more support than, than what they were providing. And, you know, a lot of that is also part of just the due diligence process of like, you can call, like, you know, if you want to buy a franchise in, in the disclosure documents, like this big, this big uh, thing you have to sign, uh, it's got every current franchisee. It also has everyone who's left the system. And so oh, there's ways that you can then call all the guys who left and like, I mean, we're not under non-disclosure. Someone called me, I, I'd be happy to tell them like, this is my experience. If you really want to do this, this is what I'd recommend uh, negotiating, um, which is kind of what I told you, which is just like, don't, don't agree to any of the penalties if, if you get out of it because it's not profitable. Um, and so yeah. anyway, I think that's like a, that's another lesson is just in, in it's just, you know, there's a, there's a lot more due diligence you can do. And sometimes when you're talking to sales guys, trying to sell you a franchise or trying to sell you the, a business broker, whether it's an independent business, doesn't matter. Like they're only trying to sell you all the, the good stuff. And, you, know, you really want to know what you're getting into and what you're agreeing to for a long term that you, you yeah. got to do that due diligence. Yeah, it's interesting. I didn't know you got a list of people that have been in the franchise and have, you know, are no longer, but it's almost like having a list of mentors if you take the time, like you said, to do the due diligence and say, hey, what have you learned? What have you done wrong? But uh, going back to what you said before, too, uh, it was just time away from your core business of Midas. I mean, because um, it really, I mean, your your time's valuable. And if you're you're splitting your your brain capacity in two different places. It's, uh, I think it's a good lesson to learn because it's, it's definitely like you talked about, it's, yep. it's hard to juggle for sure. 